Hello everyone, my name is Christian Eschbach, and welcome to another one of my album reviews. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on this journey through a little more Bad Company. We're going to be doing Burning Sky this time. Uh, this is moving along from the Bad Company Swan Song box set. I have talked about that in other Bad Company reviews. I've talked about it in my discussion of do's and don'ts for compilation collections, or album collections, sorry. Um, so, Burning Sky is out of the Swan Song years. That's the inside. And then it comes with this cute little paper with all the tiny information for the songs written down here in this itty bitty little tiny font where it's like impossible for my old man eyes to read anymore. I'm going to put an insert like this into this. At least blow up the font for me, man. Okay. Um, so this album is definitely... A big step up from the last album. Um, interestingly enough, this album is also produced by Bad Company. I would have guessed they would have got an actual producer on this one because there was definitely a lot more variety to this album, a lot more feeling. Maybe they listened to the fans. Maybe the fans said the same thing back in the day. I don't know. Um, but let's get into the songs themselves. Now, I'm going to be completely honest. Every time I've listened to this album, almost I've been in the middle of doing work of some sort while I've been getting ready for this review. I've listened to this album, I've got to say, at least five, somewhere between five and ten times in the last two weeks to get ready for this review, and I still don't have any of the song titles memorized for which ones 100% go to which ones and stuff like that. I know for the most part, but i got to do this off memory now. Okay, so here we go. No notes in front of me. <laughs> All right, album opens up with Burning Sky. Great way to open up the album. Great funk riff going on to a nice, thick, heavy. I really dig this one. Really good album opener. Gets you in there, kind of grabs you. It's like, ooh, yeah. And it lets you know it's something different than what we had on the last album, which is great. Um, Then you get Morning Sun, which isn't bad. Leaving You, which isn't bad. Like Water, which isn't bad. And then there's a hidden track. It's not listed on here, but it comes up in the metadata on my computer. Now, I don't know if this was a track that was added in or if on the vinyl this is an unlisted hidden track in there that was put in because it's a really cheesy, goofy song. Something like about my na something about a knapsack. I don't remember what the title is. Sorry, because it's not on here. It shows up in the metadata. I don't have metadata in front of me. Um... And it is cute as a, like, in today's day and age, if it was put in, not today, I guess, sorry, let me refer as a, man, okay, old man moment. So, if in the 90s, on a CD, it was put on at the end of an album as a hidden track, it works perfectly. Even on here, as a hidden track, it's kind of cool. But it's a weird spot to put a hidden track or to put a bonus track uh, because it's not even the end of side A. The side A ends with everything I need. And it's really kind of weird. And everything I need is an okay song. Um, realistically, maybe they should have flipped uh, uh, Like Water and the Knapsack song so there would have been more like a hidden track at the end of side one. I think that would have worked better, maybe. Um, now, a lot of these songs are good. They just don't overly stand out because they're either a soul song or they're a rock song or they're kind of a funk song. Uh, Burning Sky stands out because I really like funk. And I really like the funk riff they get going on here. But for the most part, most of Side A just reminds me of Grand Funk Railroad. You know? And nothing bad. I mean, I enjoy Grand Funk Railroad. It's just nothing special. Uh, especially considering this was done in 70... What is that? 76? Yeah, 76. So, for 76, man, that's... Nope, sorry, that's not 76. I think that's 78. Oh, why did they have to use such small font? Oy. I have to check on that one. Oh, give me a second. Upon closer inspection, it is most definitely 76. <laughs> All right. Um, 
We get on a side two, and you got Heartbeat, which I think is a really decent tune. It's pretty straight ahead, kind of rock, sort of. Uh, Peace of Mind's okay. Um, passing Time. I actually kind of really dig on Passing Time. Nice straight ahead kind of tune. Really kind of fun. Um, too bad. Alright. Man Needs a Woman. I... <sighs> I really, I don't get it what it is about soul songs in particular, where it's always about a man needing a woman and a man needing to treat a woman right or a woman needing to treat a man right away. There are so many of these. It is the, one of the most common freaking tropes in soul songs. And, and it just, I got no use for it. It doesn't matter who does it anymore, man. Like, it, it's just, oh, it's horrible. It's been done to death. And no one does anything interesting with it either, you know? Like, basically, you got Percy Sledge's When a Man Loves a Woman, and then after that, that's... Every other one was basically the exact same. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then, um, after that, you got Master of Ceremony, and this is a real funky kind of tune, man. Like, this one really... <sighs> Master of Ceremony... That's like some sweet ass uh, funkadelic George Clinton exploratory kind of stuff going on there, man. I really dig on that one. Really get into that one. I ride. Ooh, really, really nice. Um, I realize I kind of downplay the songs on this album. Like I said, it's every song on this album. Basically, this album opens up with funk, closes with funk, and everything in between is either kind of like a straight ahead rock and roll kind of track, or a soul kind of track. That's basically what this album is comprised of. Some of them are a little bit, you know, medium tempo to a faster tempo, and some of them are slower tempoed. Uh, the whole way around. As I'm getting through the Swan Song set and that, I'm definitely going to say when it comes to Bad Company, I do love putting the albums on. The albums are really fun to listen to, stuff like that, and enjoyable while they're playing, but I'm not a Bad Company fan. I'd probably be a Greatest Hits fan, maybe. I'd probably put together my own collection of Greatest Hits. And, you know, that's something I think I might look at when I'm done Swan Song years, is I might actually do a put together of everything out of Swan Song years and how I would compile it down into a greatest hits collection. See how that goes. See what people think of that. Um, but for the most part, yeah, I'm not, <sighs> I'd recommend it to the right people. And it is definitely a step up. I think from the last album for sure, which I can't even remember the name of because I was so kind of and eh with it. Might even be a bit of a step up from Straight Shooter. Uh, the the first Bad Company album, though, I'm still standing by, is so far their best album out of everything I've listened to. Uh, I do like this one. I do like that this one gets a little more into it, has a little more depth and range to it. But for an album in 1976, it's not doing too, too much for me, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, folks, uh, let me know what you think. That's what the comment section is for down below. Uh, on your way through, you're going to see a bunch of links in the description. Uh, one link will be the TWA, the Trampoline Wrestling Association. Check that out. Another one will take you to the Howling Odyssey, which is split into multiple sections. The original band and then the new phase of the EDM movie experience kind of thing going on. And there's also a link to my Patreon, so you can download music that I've done in the past. I'm going to do probably start uploading other stuff on there to listen to. Probably these reviews I'm going to put up there so people can hear audio versions of them. We'll see how that goes. Anyways, folks, uh, as I was saying, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Uh, hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell for notification. Peace, love, take care.